Sorry, I thought my camera screwed up here, so. Okay, so I've got the uh, double bass pedal in place, which is fine. But the first thing I notice about owning a double pedal is you pretty much have to rearrange your entire drum kit. <laughs> because now nothing fits. Uh, that, that's kind of crazy, but uh, meaning nothing fits. You can see the... I don't know how I'm going to set this one up uh, for the uh, hi-hat stand. I would love to have this pedal back more, but now i got to readjust the snare stand. See, I've got everything set out nice and wide so nothing can fall over. So now i got to get figure out how high I can put this because this Thomas snare, I think, is a 6.5. It is 6.5 by 14 inch, or 14 inch by 6.5. And, a half. and uh, still got the tag on this. I uh, just haven't got around to getting it taken off, but uh, it's a beautiful snare, but uh, how stable is it, right? So the thing is, is that I want to make sure if I raise this up, I don't want this thing toppling over and breaking and stuff like that. And uh, the pedals on this are really, really the Mapex makes really nice stuff. Uh, this is a, the, the, these are the nicest pedals I've ever used. But that said, the caveat is I haven't used a lot of pedals. I'm uh, a guitar player by, you can see all my guitars. So I'm, I'm a guitar player that just happened to have got into the drum kit thing. But uh, you can see the momentum on these guys here. So one of the things that you have is these uh, 20 gram weights. You, they, they, they have the 10 gram weights in it when you get it, but I'll show you all that. And then you've got some uh, adjustment uh, on each side of the transfer bar. Uh, I can imagine there's a whole maintenance regime for these things too. There's a lot of, um, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff here. Uh, to go over so it's going to probably take a few videos to really get it so i'm going to get this thing out of here i just wanted to show you what it looked like in my beautiful kit um, this kit's coming along so now what that means is the basic of my kit is uh it also comes with this nice bag here the basic of my kit is now complete uh so from here it's like new skins eventually um a little add on here a little add on there but uh, it looks a little bit odd right now because uh, I got to readjust my toms. What I got to do is pull the kit all apart and go from the basic of where to sit, you know, with the pedals and stuff like that. You can see that just the, yeah, the pedals. That is the coolest thing ever. I think a double bass drum pedal just makes a uh, your drum kit look so much more drummy, you know. So that's what it looks like from this from this view. Uh, one thing I will say with those uh, 20 gram weights in there, it really hits these drum, uh, drum heads hard. So I'm gonna have to get myself a beater plate for there. <laughs> you can see where the old, there's like a face. You can see the, the low one was where the single pedal was. You can see where the other one has been smacking the crap out of it there. Uh, it was pretty cool. I, got, I did get the pedal moving pretty good, but I, I've got it set up right now, just kind of like of a, a de facto setup. And it's, I'll explain that in the uh, the uh, overview. But I just wanted you guys to see sort of what it looks like on the kit. And then when I'm sitting at it, now a drum kit, uh, or my drum, my uh, uh, drum throne is not in the right spot. But you can see the, that's not too bad, but that's a little bit further. Uh, the stirrups on this thing is really cool. Uh, you can really lock into this pedal uh, and they're adjustable too. So that is so cool But you can see there's some adjustments need to be done uh, I've been You know, everybody has their do it this way. Not that way. Do you, you know what I mean? Uh, I'll take any tips because I've only been pay playing the drums realistically. Yes, I've got a whole history before But we'll see my real drum experience is the last past seven months. So yes, yeah, seven months in, and this is this is what I have for a drum kit. This is my starter kit, guys. <laughs> Let's have a look at this starter kit. Uh, this is a Mapex Armory limited edition uh, Anaconda Burst. 
and I can't show this thing off enough. If you think I'm bragging about this, wow. Uh, I'm very proud of this uh, kit. I've worked very hard for it. Uh, it might not be the best kit. Uh, this is what, like, uh, Mapex has what they call, they have, like, three lines of the Armory series. This is what I think they call the Fast Rock series. So you got a 16 by 18 Tom, uh, Floor Tom. You've got the um, uh, 7 by 8, uh, or, sorry, 7 by, what freaking size is this thing? That's not 7, sorry, that, um, 8 by 10, uh, 12 by 9, and then 22, 18. So your typical rock sizes. Um, I wish I could get the third tom for that and the second floor tom. That would be so cool. Uh, these are limited edition. I don't know how many Mapex is going to make. Um, they made me, they made a hundred, maybe they made 300. I know Longham McQuaid still has a couple of these kits left in stock if you're into them, because look at it. <laughs> it's a little bit dusty and a little bit dirty, but, uh, but yeah, this is a kind of like a dream kit for some people. And for me, I'm like, you know, pretty, pretty, pretty ecstatic with it. So anyway, uh, before the video goes on too long. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get the pedal out of there and I'm going to see if I can get some better lighting somewhere and show you better details on that pedal. But that's the Mapex Falcon. That's their top of the line double bass pedal. And there's a lot of really cool features in that in that too. I know there the um a lot of people like the uh you know the uh, Tama Iron Cobra and stuff like that, but uh, you don't really see a lot of Mapex pedals being um as popular but whatever i wanted to keep the kit as much mapex as possible even though tell no one tell no one but this is a great snare it's a great snare but i am probably going to get a mapex snare later that real deep one the one that goes down like 10 inches <laughs> it'll act like another tom right so and a snare at the same time so yeah so figuring out exactly how i'm gonna set this up uh the idea is to be as ergonomic with my learning as possible. And I had the kit set up really good. I don't like my toms this high. I like it nice and low so my shoulders are relaxed. But now this has got to be in a totally different area. So, uh, But we'll see what happens uh, in that. But uh, for now, this is the drum kit. And I will now pull that pedal out of there and see if I can give you some better views of the pedal.